Up squat. Ooh, matcha. We've got something that somebody sent in the, uh, just a few days ago. And I'm doing this just for the hell of it because uh, they said that this would be a good song to listen to on Halloween. And uh, I'm only doing a few videos today because I had to do Halloween stuff. I had to go t trick or treating with my girlfriend and her daughter, and it was great. And um, I have no idea what this is, but it's called Jason's Revenge. So I and I assume it has to do with like the Friday the Thirteenth movies, and it's by a group called No Name. And uh, I see on Discogs that somebody in a comment has said that. No name is Mark Imperial and Sean Chagog. Um, I found a little bit of information about Mark Imperial. He was a protege of Ralphie the Raz Rosario and Farley Jack Master Funk. Farley Jack Master Funk. He got his start rocking underground club loft and basement parties along with the Hot Mix 5 in 1983. His debut release, J'adore Danser. See, that's my French education coming into play, uh, which I believe just means I love dancing. Uh, one of the DJ International's first releases. One of, oh, one of DJ International's first releases, which must have been a... a, a a label or something like that. Um, that is everything I could find in any sort of Wikipedia type format. Sean Chagog, I uh, could not find really anything about it all. Um, he did have uh, some albums out in the 80s and, and I think these guys are both known for sort of their electronic acid house Chicago house style. I think it's Chicago house style. Yes. Uh, somebody else says here, a fine mixture, this this track in particular, a fine mixture between Chicago house and industrial or e EBM. Uh, great release, a must for collectors. So uh, I'm curious about this to see what this is really like um have a happy halloween i hope you're having a good time this is going to be kind of fun because it's 1986 from 1986 i should say let's check it out jason's revenge five minutes and nine seconds it's gonna be spooky yeah that's a familiar sound i don't know what that was How much is that early Depeche Mode? Like so, so, so much early Depeche Mode with the that drum beat and just the sound of the music itself. I actually really like how they're using the uh, the Jason soundtrack. I don't know what you would really call that. I mean, uh, but I also really liked the Tubular Bells song, which uh, is also used in horror movies and. Uh, that I've heard remixes of Tubular Bells that are fantastic. So for some reason, horror music really works well as dance or hip-hop music, specifically. Oh yeah, I like that. Remind me of like uh, Falco, Rock Me Amadeus, Rock Me Amadeus, or even um, 
Oh, Der Commissar. I forget exactly who that was. Oh, I just had the name, and now I forgot it again. But th that whole, like, European style of uh, vocals, really. Kind of a little bit of echoey, a little bit withdrawn into the music itself. Uh, kind of a lower uh, note that they're trying to do, and uh, almost like a hollow effect to their voice. <laughs> fun kind of dancey song. I do not mind it at all. came out in 86 and this is so 80s so 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 80s it's really weird like it's definitely electronic 80s but all these sounds and the even the feel the beat of it is it just is yep middle 80s that's what it sounds like it's kind of crazy <laughs> And, and it's also crazy that this is considered house music. I would definitely put this into just straight up electronic music and it and, and it certainly is right, but it's also considered house, which is in some way a version of hip hop and I it's nuts to me. <laughs> That's cool. 
I assume that's somebody talking backwards, right? Uh, that's kind of fun. And, and the thing is, I could absolutely had see having heard this in the 80s at some party of one sort or another and having absolutely no idea of what it was um, that, like, I could have. I, I absolutely may have heard this because it doesn't sound familiar, but it doesn't sound all that unique either, um, which tells me that it could pretty much have been played somewhere that I heard it. Uh, so I looked up the definition of house here on Discogs, and they have actually a pretty decent little write-up. In the 1980s, Chicago club visitors named house the mixture of music played by Frankie Knuckles at the Discotheque Warehouse. House music as a genre of electronic dance music originated in Chicago in the mid-80s. In the mid to late 1980s, house music became popular in Europe and then other major cities in North America, South America, and Australia. Early house uh, music commercial success in Europe saw songs such as Pump Up the Volume by Mars, which is a pretty awesome song, uh, House Nation by Housemaster Boys and the Rude Boy of House in 1987, theme from Sexpress by Sexpress in 1988, and Doctor in the House by Cold Cut in 1988 in the, uh, in the pop charts. Okay, so all those were in the pop charts. Since the early to mid-90s, house music has been infused uh, in mainstream pop and dance music worldwide. So I guess it's not necessarily hip-hop, right? But it did grow out of dance, so there's definitely a little crossover there. So yeah, I would, I mean, definitely electronic music more than and dance that more than anything else this is fun this is a fun song and in fact i will probably download this song just because it has a really nice beat it moves along really well it feels a little spooky-ish i'm not going to say like dangerous or intimidating or scary or anything but it does sound a little spooky because it's got the whispering going on and then it has also that sort of sound effect that they kick the song off with and it, it's fun it's just a fun song it, uh, and probably better to put on at a party that, or in the car than it would be to like actually put out at Halloween to be part of your spooky soundtrack but you can do it uh, that's all for tonight I'll be back tomorrow with more Pop Squat Check it out. please like subscribe and share I hope you had a good Halloween